All right, guys, I did the last video with that uh, a few days ago, and I've been getting a lot of response on my email uh, about people who need more information about the drum motors and, and they want to help them making a controller, which is great because uh, I definitely, you know, uh, if we had a controller three years ago, we wouldn't be here talking anymore. Everybody would be sitting at home and enjoying the powers and also in your car, whatever it is. Now, for all the guys there who want to build a controller for this, some people they use just a straight mouse set system, but you can't do nothing with them more. You're going to make a turn about, you know, a thousand RPM, but you have no torque and you have nothing, right? It's because they're not, it's not, mouse set, ju just mouse set cannot get this motor running properly. So get off of your head, you know, you can't do that with, with a, 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 a 20 cents with the parts and make this motor run. Now the sequence of the motor is very simple. They call it a three-phase motor. That's your leg, you know, one, two, three in the beginning, right? Now that one is connecting to that one here. So, so you go, you skip one, two, three, that's one. One, two, three, that's one. One, two, three, that's one. Then you get leg number two, which is, does the same thing. And like number trees. And they all goes around and they get all connected together. That's called that an open Y connection. Right here, all the end of those spool are all connected together. So it's like three motor put into one, three single phase motor put into one. And those motor have to run with volt, not amp, okay? Not this, not that, but volt. I mean, you need a little bit of amp, like you probably need about, you know, an amp and a half to two amps, you know, for a massive amount of torque. But the, 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 the currents, Current without pressure behind is worth nothing. All you're going to use is eat currents and eat currents. That's where your current goes up when you put this. But if you have volt, pressure of the volt with a little bit of current, it will do 20 times what the current can do just on currents. So here's, here's the sequence. On all your drum motor, you will have blocks of magnet. Well, those blocks of magnets, some that have three magnets, some that have four. But see, all the red, all the north, all the yellow, all the south. No, they're not even. You know, you get 36 legs, 42 magnet, right? So you have more magnet than legs because you have motor, right? So, I mean, at a generator, you would have to go to, to get a proper generator. You have to brought down the, 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 the magnet, the same amount of magnet for the same amount of leg. But if we're not a generator here, we are motor. So the deal is you have to do the one, two, three from the same from the same source, your, in, your power source. So that's mean if you're bringing in 120 volt, you should be able, you know, to, 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 to shoot 110 volt per legs, which that's what the motor recommend. Now I'm going to show you something. I didn't, I didn't put that on the drum. I'm going to show you with the drum its capability, right? Because they stamp it right on it. So, Here we go, DC 110 volts, right? Horsepower 0 0.9 of a, uh, 0.92 of a horsepower at 2.5 amp, all right? So for all the people out there, like you know, I didn't stamp the fucking thing here, the company did. So the 310 volt, that's the maximum volt they're testing that motor with. This mean it's gonna be 100 volt per legs. How fast that motor will turn with 100 volt per legs? Pretty fucking fast, believe me, because I'm only putting, uh, 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 with the, the Anaheim controller, I was getting 1600 volt, and I was only putting like something like, not quite 20 volt per legs. But this was also designed for another motor, so you're trying to get more out of it with a different- That's motor. correct. So, I mean, when I talked to, uh, to the factory in South Korea, and I was, I, was, I was asking if I can buy a bench controller that's mean so for testing motor, they said, yeah, no problem. And then when I sent them the, the particular of the motor I was running, which it was the own Samsung motor, soon I sent them that, they won't talk to me anymore because I sent them the information for their motor and that was that. Somebody tried to, they used a lawyer, uh, Merlin uh, knew, used the lawyers and stuff like that. They spin the wheels, didn't go fucking nowhere, okay? Because what are you gonna do to them? They're in South Korea. And you're fucking here, right? You can't do shit. You're nobody. You're just the fucking people who send them money because they buy the shit from them, right? So I mean, they don't want to. They don't want to work. But it's very simple. The motor, the controller have to push volts in the legs, 
not amps a very small amount of amps and the only you can do that is you have to separate your high voltage from your controllers which I did right I use amplifier for the three legs right those are DC amplifier they work really well right you put 16 volt in you get 90 volt out and your current and your voltage is adjustable now this is the source of the power right for running this motor now we need to sequence those that source of power so or we have to produce a signal so I built a small a small uh, uh, frequency generator that's only about 200 uh, uh, kilohertz and it, it does square wave pulse and all that so I'm gonna see if I can use that to be able to power that now my vault have to be like this literally like this here right so I got my three volt my three legs number one number two number three right who have to be tied up but in between here I have to be able to send a signal to give him the sequence. Now I have to drop my signal one, two, three, one, two, three, really fast. So I need to I need to put a cascade in between here, so I can cascade my signal. So my juice can go through the signal, right through that 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 board, and it's just an on-off switch. We can take we can take my, the, the energy from those board and shoot it into number one, number two, number three on a cascade. So now we are to this part of the controller we have to build, which is the cascade part. Now, I don't know if it, this one is gonna do the job, I might have to build another one, or I might have to use another frequency generator of some kind of sort, but I'm starting with that, because I had that and I can put it together and, and, and test it, and it worked perfectly. It does everything that thing's supposed to be doing. So we're gonna test it on that. So the only thing we're missing is the middle part here, is the cascade, because I have to cascade that single output, right? My frequency, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three with the frequency because the frequency will be in the, the, the one two three so you know the motor itself it doesn't work anybody would think this is a work like a normal three-phase motor they're highly hallucinate they they, they they on bad drug get off of it <laughs> okay get yourself some good shit because the one you hear you on it right now ain't helping you those motor they run uh, you can run that motor on a single leg you can run that motor on two legs. You can run that motor on three legs. What did I tell you? You have motor number one, then you added another motor. So you get two eyes of power, motor number three. So you had a number and a motor on the top of it. So you get three times the power, so you have motor number three. So I mean like, you know, it's that simple with the sequence. And you feed amp in that motor, you burn it. They don't run on amp because they have magnets. And magnet resonate. Soon the voltage is high enough, the magnet resonate, And believe me, it's really powerful. I mean, look, the stator is floating. Literally floating inside the goddamn flywheel. That's like a 20 pound stator, mm -hmm. right? So I mean. So you're, you're what, now what's in it for people who, who, who oh, someone watches this and they say, oh Gerard, I can make you that uh, controller. Absolutely, I know exactly what you're talking about. I want to make it. What, what would you tell those people? Well, if people want to, want to jump in the bandwagon and, and help us, we put it on, on, the company line, on the company list because everybody's going to profit after that. I mean, like, let's say the guy, someone, make me a, a controller, right? Well, what this guy gain? Oh, suddenly now he can drive his fucking car for nothing. He can drive his bike for nothing. He can, he can power his house for nothing. So, what did that guy gain? Total fucking freedom. Now everybody's talking about the big fucking money, right? Well, the big fucking money doesn't help you a lot today, right? Because it doesn't matter how much money you have, you know, it, you always need more because it's never enough. Because everything gets so expensive. Well, get your fucking head out of the fucking ass and think about it. You know, if you jump in the bandwagon, I mean, I got the fucking generator built, right? That's just not a problem. It's to spin it. And only those fucking motors can spin a generator because they can produce so much horsepower for so little. They're, just, they're over unity just the way they build in a washing machine. 
You know, how many foot pound torque you have of your motor in your car? I'm talking about all the idiot over there. 210, 215, 235 foot pound torque at the crankshaft, right? This puppy here have 210 foot pound and is only putting out 26 volt per leg so far. Now, this is stronger than your car motor and I'm holding it on one hand. Don't, don't tell me your car motor is more powerful than that. So, anyway, people will see it, will see it, and if people don't want to see it, they won't see it because they're blind anyway. So, we don't have to worry about it. But for all the people who want to help me making a controller, that's how a controller works. I suggest anybody who want to put a controller together, they go out and buy yourself a motor like this. They're cheap. You can buy it used for probably about 50 bucks, right? Put it on a shaft and then start playing with a controller on it and you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Till you start working with those motors, you don't know shit because nobody fixed those motors in North America. So you don't know shit, okay? I've been playing with those motors for over three years, right? And those fucking motors, they're more powerful than anything I've ever seen in electric motor. Matter of fact, they shouldn't be called electric motor because not an electric motor can even touch those. So all your, all your, basically all your videos, all your experiments, and all the amazing things you've shown, the world so far have led you to this point. Well, to to, to this right motor to here. here because you need a primary mover. You know, you ever seen a power plant out there and on around the world? We're so fucking high in technology, we can go across space apparently, but all the fucking power plant have to have a primary mover. There's no such a thing as solid state power plant in this world and there will never will be. Something have to move from point A to point B to create energy. And if you can't do that, then light up your fucking candle and live underneath a tree or a culver because that's exactly what you're gonna have. You gotta move. Something have to be in a motion to create energy. And something have to be in motion to release energy. You can't do that sitting on your fucking ass. Right? That's as simple as that. So, I sound a little bit frustrated it's because I'm very fucking frustrated, not just a little bit, of wasting my fucking time for three fucking years. You know? So, I mean, people said, you know, you're pretty crusty today. Well, fucking, I get good reason to be crusty. You know, it's, it's, it's just so fucking stupid. This world is so fucking stupid, it should be fucking destroyed at birth. It would have saved us a load of grief. All those greedy motherfuckers out there, and believe me, you know, for the rest of my life, I'm going to be haunting those motherfuckers. So, anyway, you pick the side of the fence you want to be, and then the people who want to be on my side of the fence, then let's get this fucking thing going. I mean, I figure out all the parts. Those, this is about the, the, the smartest parts you can buy for the controller for the output out, and you can buy those ones create 90, 90 volt. I can buy other one. They can put out more than that. But I'm going to try with 90 volt. 90 volt will be plenty for me to run the generator. Right? And this one, we're just going to give it a try. I had it in my hand. I put it together. It was, it was a kit. And it worked perfectly. So let's try it. And if it's not, I just received uh, another, my oscilloscope today. So if that doesn't work, I can, not my oscilloscope, my uh, frequency generator. Uh, I can, I can, I get way different wave than that, like, you know, probably about 100 times more different, different uh, function I can do in this one. But you got to start somewhere, right? And same thing, it took me, just to get a frequency generator here, three and a half month hmm. to get a, 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 a goddamn uh, a frequency, a regal, a, a regal frequency generator, and it's not even the one I was looking at. It seemed to be like, you know, is a gang who doesn't want me to get any kind of, of, of equipment so I can do tests because when I do tests with their equipment, I tell them right away, you're a fucking liar. Mm -hmm. It's not what's happening. You don't have a fucking clue. As today, again, the electrons are moving. Why can a fucking scientist cannot show me a live working electron, a real live, not a Mickey Mouse cartoon in your fucking computer, a real video? We have fucking camera who, who can pick up the speed of light. So I think we can fucking see a blurry of an electron somewhere. Because that's what they said, the electron is slightly higher than the speed of light. Well, questioning what you found inside the box has got us to this point here. Well, right I now. mean, like, you know, the box, I mean, people want to stay inside the box, they should stay inside the box, but they should keep their fucking mouth shut. 
Yeah. If you don't want to be in the box, okay? Pretty loud in there. Just fucking keep your fucking mouth shut. Close the cover of that box and shut the fuck up. So anybody who's who's a candidate potentially to be making this controller should be able to tell from this video and your demeanor that if you're going to email and you're going to contact Gerard, make sure you're ready to work. Make sure you're ready to get going right away. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, the first thing you got to do is get yourself a motor. Get used to, to see this fucking flywheel here, okay? All you have to do, you can't make something you cannot picturize in your mind. Only an imbecile does that. And you know, and we know what we call those one? The comedian, they're, they, they create stuff and it's not real and they make people laugh, right? Like all the movies, the war movie, everybody die, but in the end of the day, everybody goes home, right? But they all shred in peace all over the field, but they all pick up and glue themselves together and go home. So anyway, this is the whole thing for me, I want to say, like, you know, for the people who want to help about the controller, get yourself a, a drum motor and then try to make it turn. That's all you got to do, try to make it turn. I mean, you can collect a single leg and use a battery and just touch the battery on like this and you, the motor will turn slightly, hmm. right? So, uh, like I said, we just, all at the point in time is to feed this motor the right amount of volt and you will have something it's just going to be so powerful you won't you won't believe what you get out of those motor that's a sample yeah so, with an understanding of the uh, technology well, we yeah, got they, to this point exactly it's, it's just a matter of time it's just a matter of time like you know it's very simple you off you off 10 degree apart it's 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 a very simple one two three and then the one two three repeat yourself to start from the beginning again now if you were to put if you would disconnect this motor here from here you cut that off and make a straight line, you would have Japan's fast train system. Because that's how the fast train system run. Pretty incredible, eh? They bend the track and make a circle out of it and make a motor. Because it's super strong and super efficient and super cheap to run. So, but anyway, that's what I... Anybody want to do a control order for that thing? They got to purchase yourself a drum motor. Without a drum motor, they're just talking out of their ass. Period. They'll never get anywhere with that motor without playing with one. So, good luck for all the folks out there who want to try. And uh, all the rest, keep quiet. I don't want to hear from you. So, you guys have a good day.